What's up you guys? It has been a hot minute since I vlogged. It actually feels weird to be talking to my camera right now, but I have missed vlogging so much. I miss you guys. I feel like my voice sounds a little bit like deep and raspy right now. Maybe it's just to me, but it is because this is the first time I have spoken all day. I made myself an emergency. I figured after two weeks uh, of traveling, probably need it. But the theme of this vlog is going to be getting my life back on track, getting back into kind of a routine after being away. So I wanted to make this vlog like how to get back into your routine after, you know, your own vacation that you might be taking or just after like some chill time where you're like, okay, I wanna get back into like being productive or just like I have to have structure to my days. I also wanted to say thank you guys so much for your patience. I did not intend to not have a video up last week and now I'm behind. I should have planned for that a little bit better so I could have had something go up in between all that time that I was gone. So I just wanna say thank you guys so much for your patience because at the time you see this video, it'll be like over two weeks since I uploaded and I don't ideally like to take that much time off. So everything in my life is like a mess right now. I have a suitcase that is just like exploding upstairs. Um, the bedroom is completely messy. Yesterday I did have a slightly productive moment and I like washed our sheets and washed our bedding because it had been a few weeks since we did that since I was mostly gone and I need to put those back on today. I'm doing a ton of laundry, basically all the laundry. I did a lot of it yesterday, so I'm finishing up laundry in this room right now. So I'm gonna put that away at some point today with you guys. I want to unpack my suitcase. I need to do emails because I got behind on my emails while I was gone because I was basically on like these two just extended vacations. What else? Oh, the house is a mess, a disaster. There's tons of dishes in the sink. The kitchen is messy. The living room's messy. Where I'm looking at right now is messy. I will put some shots of that in so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Cause I feel like a lot of times I don't show that stuff like the behind the scenes and I don't need to tackle it all today. But the theme of this vlog is like, let's get our lives together. You know what I mean? Let's tidy. Let's get back on track with work and emails and vlogging and at some point I need to go grocery shopping. I don't really think I'll have time to do it today. I think today I really want to focus on cleaning up the house and getting the laundry put away. The first thing on my list is to talk to you guys and have some breakfast and then I'm going to go get a coffee. I'm going to treat myself. I want to get a little Starbucks to get a little caffeine hit in me today. I haven't really been to Starbucks in a while and I just wanted to go start my day on like a little treat yourself note. I think I'm gonna make a bagel or something and get moving. Hi there, how are we doing today? Pretty good, how are you? Good, what can I get started for you? Can I please get a venti chocolate cream cold brew? Yeah, so unfortunately today I ran out of my venti cups until tomorrow. Can I do a grande size instead? Yeah, that's fine. All right, so I have that chocolate cream cold brew. Anything else for you today? Can I get a puppuccino and that's Absolutely. it? <laughs> Thank you. Now you got it, 557. A squirtle nose. He knows, he's getting it. Um, okay, so so I wanted to try their new drink. It's a chocolate cream cold brew. Sounds interesting. I feel like I've never gotten chocolate on my cold brew, but I am a chocolate girl. So I figured I would try it. I bet it'll be good. I bet it's just like chocolate in the cold foam. I think it's gonna be really good. And Squirtle's getting his cappuccino, of course. <laughs> hey, how are we doing today? Hi, good, how are you? Oh my gosh, hi. You're so cute with your big eyes and your little dog he ears. He knows what he's getting. <laughs> he has little dog ears, it's so cute. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you're looking at 557. Okay, can I use um, 150 of my stars? Yeah, let's do For the it. drink. Thank you. Have a good one today. You too. That man loved dogs. It was so cute. He was obsessed with the dog. He actually might have liked the bigger dog better than Squirtle. But you know what? It's okay. Some people are big dog people. Some people are small dog people. Okay, it's time for a little drink review. I do like it. I'm not completely obsessed. I think it almost needs something a little like, not that it's not creamy, the chocolate like mostly it's like the chocolate cold foam. It's very good. I feel like almost though it's like, I know it's a cold brew, but it tastes a little more bitter than usual with like just this part. So I feel like the cream, maybe once it gets a little more into, which I'm trying to shake it in, 
once it gets a little more into the cold brew, maybe I'll like it a little better, but I almost feel like it needs like a dash of like oat milk or something or like half and half, just to like make it a little more like light and creamy because it is kind of bitter. Like the top part is sweet and creamy and like fluffy, but it's honestly kind of bitter with the coffee. I do like it. I don't know if I would order it again. If I did order it again, I'd probably like have them add oat milk to the cold brew beforehand. I'm gonna give it like a seven. If it is a little more bittery, I mean, it is a cold brew, which cold brew on its own without anything is, you know, very bitter and not sweet and just coffee. I think in my head, I'm like comparing it to the vanilla sweet cream cold brew, which is pretty sweet and doesn't taste really very bittery at all. Um, but the chocolate cold foam is really yummy. I would potentially get this again on like a latte or something like that. I think it could be really good mixed with like something vanilla-y or like white mocha-y. I think the chocolate could be really good with that. And that's my review. <laughs> I am gonna start tidying um, this level and doing some dishes. Usually Jared does all the dishes, but he's at work right now and I don't wanna wait for him to get home. And I, for some reason we just did not do them yesterday. Like. We said we were gonna tidy yesterday and we just didn't do it. All right, let's get to it. tidied the whole downstairs I did the dishes and I vacuumed everything that might not sound like that much but it took me quite a while it honestly took me almost two hours when I say I'm a slow and very detailed cleaner I mean it <laughs> every stain every little thing it's already 2 50 now the day is getting away from me but I'm gonna take a little break to walk squirtle and then I'm gonna come back in and eat something and then I'm going to do some emails next 
I guess I could show you my progress. I mean, I guess there's still a few things on the counter from just some dishes that I'm drying. I filled the dishwasher and it's going now and did those dishes. I wiped the counters a little bit and I wiped off this table. It was also very cluttered with stuff like the floors and the table. So I cleared all that off and I cleared this area from the mess that was over here and I vacuumed the rug. I vacuumed everything over here, fluffed up the couch. Good stuff, I'm feeling a lot better. I may have eaten some mozzarella sticks for lunch. Live your best life. We did a little walk at the park. I'm watching my sister's newest vlog. It's an hour long, which is really exciting. And there's some features from uh, the first trip that I went on with Megan. So she vlogged, if you guys wanna see it. Um, we're about to get into the bridal shower. I think she filmed a little bit on the bachelorette weekend. And I think when she was doing like some wedding prep stuff in Virginia last week. So I'm gonna watch this while I do some emails. because yesterday I didn't really film this but basically everything I ate was bad for me which is you know it's fine but I just feel like I was doing like so much snacking and I ate like grilled cheese for dinner and I ate like mozzarella sticks and all this stuff that really wasn't that good for me so I woke up today feeling a little bit a little bit gross honestly I was like I don't I don't feel good. I don't feel right. So I wanted to make a smoothie. I haven't made one in forever. I kind of stopped vlogging yesterday after the mid afternoon, but that was pretty much all the like tidying and cleaning stuff that I did. Besides, I did put away all of the laundry and I was in my room that I guess I didn't show you guys, but I had just like two and a half laundry baskets. It took me a really long time. I watched the new episode of This Is Us while I did it. If anybody's watching right now the last season i'm not gonna like spoil anything um you guys should watch this is us it's the best show i've ever seen it is my favorite show it's so good it is an emotional show i will say that um they're in the last season right now and it's just oh, i'm gonna miss it so much <laughs> and then jared and i just made dinner we made a homemade tomato soup and some grilled cheese that was super good and then we just chillaxed, hung out with Squirtle. Um, I played The Sims and he watched a soccer game for like most of the night. And then we just went to sleep and that was kind of yesterday. Today I am going to go grocery shopping. So I'm gonna do that in a little bit here. I'm gonna have my smoothie and take a shower. So we'll do a grocery haul later and then I'm gonna go to my cycling class at 4.30 at the YMCA. I haven't been in like 
probably three weeks, I think, since I was gone. So I can't wait to go back and see Kim, my favorite instructor. But I think it's gonna be a pretty day. I'm feeling good this week, kind of the sun's been out and it's still been a little cold here, but it is slowly starting to finally warm up, I hope, I don't know. It's still been in like the 50s here, which I, I don't know, I guess for some people that's not cold. But for me, like, I feel like by this time of year, last year, it was definitely in like the 60s and 70s. And it's like still in the 50s, which is like a little, I'm still, it's still a little chill. Like I have to wear a jacket still when I go outside usually. So anyway, we're back to the vlog today and I already feel so much better since yesterday when I like tidied everything and just like cleaned so much up. Oh, it just feels so good. I do have, I do still have a little more to do. I actually haven't finished unpacking my suitcase. So maybe I'll try to do that later. Um, but you know, the main stuff at least is like out of the way and I feel so much better. All right guys, I'm headed to Winco and then to Trader Joe's, the usual rotation, but I feel like I haven't done that in so long. So I'm kind of excited to grocery shop. It's the little things in life, you guys. Um, I just took a shower and I didn't really have time to, uh, or I just didn't make time to dry my hair. So I'm just gonna let it air dry. Naturally, it's already got like a cute little wave going. So I don't really care. I go out with wet hair all the time. It is what it is. I'm wearing this jacket that I got in my newly box this month, which I guess I haven't showed because I opened it whenever I was at home in Georgia, but it was so cute this month. This is one of my favorite things I got, this denim jacket. And I actually think I might keep it. It's like 60 bucks. To keep it and i'm kind of considering it because i feel like i wear these colors a lot like all basically neutral colors and i kind of think it goes good with the hair i mean i'm not all like done up right now this isn't like the cutest outfit ever but i feel like the jacket is cute i might keep it and then i just have on a really simple black tank because i did a fake tan so i didn't want to put on anything too light although i did put on these linen pants but i couldn't figure out what pants i wanted to wear today so i just went with a simple like black and white with a cute little jacket over it very simple okay guys i'm home and i got a big grocery shop in i guess it wasn't that huge honestly i feel like it's normal sized for me and what i usually get but it was a good shop i think i did it in a good amount of time i left at like two and i got back to my house at like 3 30 so i think it was pretty good for going to two stores and getting everything i needed mostly because the class is at 4 30 so i wanted to make sure i have enough time so it's 3 50 right now i need to leave in 20 minutes and i have to take squirtle out so i'm gonna make this kind of quick all right this is the first half of the haul so where should we start i guess in front here i have some romaine some sliced um pepper jack cheese for sandwiches and all the usual produce, nothing really crazy. And then I did get some strawberries to cut up. I wanted to get some kind of a berry, so I picked those. I thought they looked good and some eggs. I also got some asparagus, which I don't usually get, but I don't know. I just want to start like switching it up with my vegetables and making more that I don't usually make. I occasionally eat asparagus, but I've really never made it at home. So I want to make it with like Jared and maybe I'll like grill it one night or something soon. Um, this is some rosemary. And then I got a bunch of white tulips that were really closed up because they'll open. So I'm excited for these. These are 20 tulip bulbs. It might not look like it, but really excited about those. Those are only like 11 bucks for 20 tulips, which I didn't think was too bad. And then I got some eucalyptus to probably put in the vase with it and just see how that looks. Then I got the onion chive cream cheese spread. This is really good as like a dip for veggies, chips. It's just super good. Also, you know, you can just use it as an actual cream cheese. I got a chunky salsa and in the back I got a ground beef just to have like keep it in the freezer for whenever we want to make like burgers or something. I don't usually make ground beef that much, but I feel like Jared and I are going to be doing more like grilling now that it's warmer. I got a Rouse Arribiata sauce. Might have said that wrong, but it's the spicy marinara. This is super, super good. And I always get the big jar of it. It's like my favorite jarred tomato sauce. And I've really never found one that I've been like passionate about. I restocked on my little thing that I keep in my car of bulk olive oil. I hadn't had to buy that in a really long time, but I'm pretty sure we recently ran out. And then I got a non-dairy Ben and Jerry's. This is the peanut butter half baked flavor. I got some chicken. We were completely out. So I just stocked up on three things of chicken breast. I got some Gouda and half and half. Mostly just use this for like cooking 
and sometimes for coffee, but usually for cooking. I got a kombucha because I forgot to bring my water bottle in the car and I was really thirsty. So I went to Trader Joe's and I grabbed this. I feel like I always say a weird kombucha, kombucha. That's right. Um, I got this watermelon wonder flavor and it's really good. Uh, and then I just got two things of wine. I haven't had this one forever and it's one of my favorite whites. It's the Sawtooth Pinot Gris. And then I just got a rosé from Trader Joe's that I haven't tried. I don't, well, maybe I have. The brand sounds really familiar. And then I got Jared some Dr. Peppers because these are his uh, drink of choice. He goes through them very fast. And then ignore the dirty dishes over here. I tried to move it to this side because I thought I'd be able to fit everything over here when I showed you guys. But, but this is the <laughs> more unhealthy section more of snacking i feel like at winco i get a lot of like snacky things and stuff and i don't really get like much produce there because i get it at trader joe's so this is mostly all my haul from winco for the most part some aluminum foil that we ran out of some ham for sandwiches jared pretty much uses this and we were almost out shredded cheese three soups just for easy lunches and dinners i really like to have soup and just not have to think about it my can opener is on its last i think i've had it since i literally moved out when i was like you know 18. so i got this one at winco and it was the most expensive one so hopefully <laughs> that means it'll be the best one um and then i was actually really surprised they had these um i wanted to get these like mini loaf pans they're super cute they're about a little bigger than the size of my hand i guess i would say and these were really inexpensive at Winco from the Good Cook brand. Oh, let me show you guys actually how cute it is. What inspired these was Jared's mom made us the Cheesecake Factory bread recipe and these little size loaves and it's so good. And she also gave me this recipe book. I think I might've showed this, yeah, in a vlog recently. And that has a lot of recipes where they use the mini loaf pans so i wanted to get some of my own and they were only like three bucks at winco so i got four <laughs> you know why not just have a good amount if they're only three bucks this is the absurd candy section jared and i have been like eating a lot of candy lately so i got him some of these these are his favorite and then i got these for me saltwater taffy i've been having a craving and then i just got a bunch of assorted gummies which looks so good mostly for him to have but i love getting like candy in the bulk section it's just cheaper and I'm not ashamed to say that I like candy. I mean, go off. Okay, I gotta hurry this up. Got some panko breadcrumbs. Usually get those in bulk, but they were completely out. So I just got a box of them. And then two things of mac and cheese because we were running low, I've been using that a lot lately. A thing of bagels, dots pretzels. I'm on like a kick of these right now. I've always been obsessed with them, but recently I've gotten like back addicted to them. They're so good if you haven't tried them. I prefer the original flavor. I don't really like the other two flavors that they have, but I love these ones. Uh, from Trader Joe's, I also picked these up and I already started snacking on the ride home because I was really hungry. I got some scoops for the salsa that I got and some veggie broth. Okay, I think that's it. All right, I'm gonna take Squirtle on a walk and then get ready for my class. I'm gonna be rushed, but I'll probably talk to you guys, you know, maybe before or after class in the car or something, but I'm very excited to go back to cycling. I do need to eat something before, I don't really know. I've only really had snacks today. Hey, this is actually great lighting for an iPhone shot right now. I can't believe this. So it's about six o'clock. I went to my class, which was great. It was so good to be back. And then I just went to drop off my dress for Megan's wedding at the Taylor. I definitely should have done it earlier. Um, I meant to do it before I went out of town a couple weeks ago and I didn't, but I still have, I think three weeks-ish. I think I have exact, what day is it? I think I leave exactly three weeks from today. So I feel like I did cut a little close, but she wasn't like, no, I can't do it. She said that she would have it for me on June 1st. So I'm a little worried about it. Like I'm not, but I am just because it's cutting it a little close like i'm literally leaving on june 2nd at like 6 in the morning and it's not going to be ready until june 1st after 5 30 p.m but she said i could just call a couple days before and like remind her just like hey i need it on june 1st so i think it should be fine i just i have you know it is what it is it's like i could still wear the dress as it is if for some crazy reason they like couldn't get to it but i just need to be able to like pick it up you know what i'm saying and make sure it's all like trapped at the tailors so i think everything should be good it's just my like virgo brain just like worrying about everything but yeah i also like 
I have to be honest, like my dress that I picked, uh, and I tried on like five dresses because all of the bridesmaid dresses, and I guess, I think Megan's already said this, so I'm not gonna like give away much, but they're all like the same color, but different styles. And I tried on like five, because you can do like a try on dress back in like November. And I picked my favorite one, like my favorite of the five that I tried on at least. And when it came, like it fits pretty good and everything, it's too long on me, but that's like, I feel like that's normal. But to be honest, I don't love the way it fits me around like, my hips because the dresses all have pockets and mine is very like it's not like sleek cut it's more it's like a flowy skirt with like a slit and I was a little upset because she said she couldn't do anything to make it fit me a little bit slimmer um and also like right here basically where it fits me is like a little bit of loose fabric too and she said she couldn't do anything for that and I didn't really understand why, but she basically was just like, no, like it's the way the fabric and the dresses are made. Like I can't like take it in or whatever. So I don't really know why, but <laughs> the only alteration I'll be able to get done is making it shorter, which will be good because it was very long on me. I would have like violently tripped over it the whole night. So I guess that's all that's important. But looking back, I do kind of wish I like maybe picked a different dress the thing about it is like i did the best i could because i tried on those dresses months ago and then i picked my one i liked best and then that dress takes eight to ten weeks because they're all made to order so once my dress was made it's like it's not returnable it's like it is what it is and like at that point all you can really do is alterations so i'm like my dress but i'm not gonna lie like it does not fit me the way that i would ideally hope but at the same time it's like it's not my wedding I have another dress that I'll be wearing to like the renaissance dinner or welcome party and stuff like that. I just do feel like I was looking at it on and like of course I'm not like glammed up and everything. It'll be able to like come together a lot more after my alteration and on the actual day but like I do not love how it fits my hips and it's not even a thing of me. I think it's just literally the way the dress fits like I'm happy with my body. I think that a lot of dresses can look great on hips and so I am a little bit upset about that but there's at this point like I said there's nothing I can do. Apparently the dress cannot be taken in in that way. Um, I think it's because it has the pockets on the sides which I didn't really notice to be honest when I was trying it on but I think all the bridesmaid dresses from the site we ordered from have pockets but at this point i'm just like talking about nothing like <laughs> it's gonna look hot, as good as it's gonna look and i'll accessorize and get glammed up on the day but looking back i kind of wish i maybe picked a different dress i don't really know uh, it's not the most flattering thing in the world but uh it is what it is i've already picked it and um hopefully with the alterations that I can get, it'll look the best it can. So I'm headed home now. Okay guys, it's been a few hours since I last talked to you. I basically put away all the groceries and refilled some stuff and like put the flowers in their vases. And we also had to clean out the fridge. That kind of took a while, but now we made some dinner. It's like 8.30, I guess it's a little late for dinner, but we put some stuff on the grill pan. Reheated some tomato red pepper soup that we made last night. 
and some grilled bread and it looks so good. I have some onions that are still finishing up grilling on here. I don't know if that's weird, but honestly I love onions so I just decided to throw some on here with these red peppers. And then I made grilled bread basically with this Richard's dipping oil, some butter, and then just some like seasonings and just throw it on there. We did some red pepper flakes and some asparagus, which has some really beautiful grill marks. And then this is our soup from last night that we reheated. So I got a little bit left. And that's kind of why I made the grilled bread to like dip in it. I don't know why I have these things talking with my tongs. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna end off this vlog. It's the next day and I'm about to start editing and get this up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I liked kind of doing like a getting my life together vlog, which I can do more of these if you guys want to, more like productivity focused, I don't know, like cleaning, getting back into things, vlogs, if you guys want, so let me know. I love hearing from you guys in the comments, so leave me a comment down below if you made it until the end of this video. Um, I'm happy to be back. I'm also gonna be filming a vlog this weekend as well as probably another one next week, so I will be back. Now that I have taken this little break, I'm gonna get, I'm. I'm getting back into the vlogs for y'all because I've missed them. If you guys do want to check out my other content that is not on YouTube, my Patreon, I will link it on the screen right here, as well as it's always the top link in the description box down below. And thank you to all of you guys that are my patrons. All right, I'm sending love to all of you guys. I hope you're having a good week and have a great weekend, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!